the 22nd AGI Ideas Conference, and now the International Design Week comprises quite a number of events. The conference has grown enormously and it's become quite influential I think in the design world and it's the broadest section of the design world. I think it's important that we recognise our promise line of design is difference. Creating that difference is up to you. Go beyond what has come before. Design is everything else. It's process. It's difference. A really well-rounded piece of design. Um, should be an equal amount of concept, style and function. Design is not about products or brand. Design is about creating experiences. Design is not rocket science. It's far more interesting. It's far more multi-layered with emotions. Design shows everybody's differences. Different backgrounds and different styles and different ideas. Light bulbs, ideas, the light going on, the solution dawning, illuminating the message. Light bulbs are what rule my personal philosophy. An innovative idea, a team that sees your vision and drive is what you need. And passion from the heart would be my greatest advice. And good ideas sell themselves. A good idea combined with a fresh visual is a powerful way to grab the attention of a viewer and lodge a product into memory. An idea is worth nothing unless it's purchased, um, unless it's made, unless it's given a chance in the world to create value. The great thing about good ideas, of course, is that they are risky. And that's where salesmanship is just so important. It's like you grab a hold of that risk and you convince your client that the risk is worth it. What is design and what is the purpose of design from, from a business point of view? It's about things that matter because it creates value for us. Design creating value beyond the design community. Design creating value for our stock, for our financial community, for our shareholders. If you want to be extraordinary, then you shouldn't be taking advice from ordinary people. Just a little bit of my insight. So, finding a great mentor, talking about collaborations, uh, building great relationships and having really good playtime. Knowing the possibilities and thinking of the extreme ones is the soul of my work. Patience will get you great pictures, but only when you are well prepared and you know what the possibilities are. The importance of innovation and conceptual development were key experiences of my apprenticeship training and have stayed with me ever since. And the winner is Keske Shibahara from Monash University. The Holly Print Trust New Star Award is Holly Canham from RMIT University. Congratulations. I hope you have a great career. The best design of all comes from Mother Nature and frankly none of us can probably ever beat that. So all you got to do is look at nature, it's telling you exactly what to do, at least giving you a repertoire of ideas. I'm a big believer, a huge believer, that you could talk to nature. Now I, I've had so many conversations with this damn carrot sitting in my garden.
We are privileged to be in our most remarkable age. We have never had more power than as we do today as designers. If the future is for us with augmented reality, where each individual person controls and sees what they want to see, that's actually a better world. And it, it's a possible world, and it's not that far away. TV broadcast is mainly concentrating on what's called event TV. So they're looking at ways to engage an audience in real time to ensure they actually stay and watch on the channel. No designer can exceed the knowledge and imagination that the designer puts into the design. And that is imagination. And I think that's the one skill that trumps all others, the ability to make sense of things that are new. If we always try the path that we always know, we're only ever going to arrive at a place we've always been to. So I really like to encourage my team to try different points of departure, to wonder, to explore, and to really enjoy um, that exploratory um, time. Going the straight line is absolutely an appropriate choice, but you have to have in mind that there are alternatives. They are probably more exhausting, they are more risky, but if you are hungry, and if you are motivated, please don't be afraid making detours. Maintaining a positive frame of mind is fundamental for generating flow and momentum. Flow and momentum are fundamental for the maturation and evolution of ideas. It's always about storytelling, you know, bringing real authentic stories to life. That's what designers can do. They can bring technical information to life through very interesting ways. The commercial artist, so to speak, the professional illustrator, wouldn't believe that I'd say, give me the type of work that you do on Sunday, or you do for yourself. The sound of the spray can, the scuffling of the brushes on the surface, for me hearing the medium is so important. I know how it works by listening to it. And the ambient noise of a sleeping city contributes to my common themes of life, death, struggle and tenacity. preview of some of the best work being done in design globally. You see work that you've seen everywhere and then suddenly the guy that made that work is in front of you. It's, it's sort of just really inspiring. It doesn't matter what field you're in, um, everybody has something to share and you gain something from every field. It's very inspiring. I mean, what more can you ask for in a design conference? There is a lot of dullness out there, so much sameness. I believe it's our social responsibility to make every job special, to make it magic and add that ingredient to put a thrill in someone's heart and bring joy. So what I'd like you to take from this is that there are many valid ways of working and that there are also many things to say, both with your visual approach and your content. Design can be trite and meaningless, uh, but it's really up to you to make it intriguing, joyful, surprising and smart. Thank you.